If you want to get better at digital marketing, then it helps to know what skills are going to be the most valuable for you to learn and master. You know, the kind of marketing skills that every company is looking for right now and the kind of things that can help you grow any business or transform your career, stand out from the competition and make a whole lot more money. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you the most valuable digital marketing skills you need to know right now as we wrap up 2021 and head into 2022. So you're going to be well positioned for the future. You see, one of the most common questions I get on the channel here is what are the most important areas of digital marketing or what marketing skills or what area of marketing should I focus on? What's going to give me the best return, the best value for my time? And while I do have my own list of skills that I think are most important, I also wanted to see what other marketers thought about this subject. So I did what I pretty much always do and I started to do some research to see what other marketers were thinking and what they were recommending. So the first place I went was of course YouTube and I saw a video by Neil Patel tell on, well, this exact topic, the most valuable digital marketing skills in 2021 that every company is looking for. So I watched it and Neil was pretty much spot on and listed out things like analytics and paid ads and content writing and automation, all incredibly valuable marketing skills to have. But there were also some skills on that list that I wasn't too sure deserved to be there, especially for most marketers or business owners or entrepreneurs out there. Not to say that they weren't valuable, just that they weren't the most valuable. For example, things like account management, which is more of a managerial task, or user experience, which we'll get to later, is very important, but is also a very unique and specific skill set. So my search continued and brought me to this site, which also claimed to know what the most in-demand skills for digital marketers was. So naturally, I dove in there too. And somewhat unsurprisingly, I also found five similar topics. And they were search engine optimization or SEO, which is all about sort of organizing and optimizing and tweaking different bits of code and content and links for a website to get it to rank higher in the search engines. Social media marketing, which is arguably and agreeably a very important and very valuable skill set to have, but also incredibly broad, as I'll talk about in a minute too. Content marketing, which is basically all marketing right now because pretty much everything is content. Data analytics, which again is very specific and appeals to a certain kind of person, but still very important. And product or UX design, also known as user experience design, basically just making things better. Anyway, I started to see a trend, so I hit the streets, or more accurately, the web, and went back out there to do a little more research. And my search brought me to this site, and the title of the post was In Demand Digital Marketing Skills You Need. And sure enough, the pattern that I suspected to see was really starting to become clear here. After all, this site showed skills like search engine optimization, marketing analytics, social media marketing, video content creation, content writing and copywriting, and web design and development. So clearly, most marketers agree on what's important, but we're still dealing with a pretty broad list here. So while this is a valuable list, it's still very, very broad. I mean, you could pretty much take any single item off this list and dedicate your entire career to just trying to learn and master one single area. I mean, SEO or search engine optimization involves all sorts of different things, including web design, web development, analytics, page load speed, linking, press releases and PR, and all kinds of fancy schmancy coding stuff. Or for another example, let's say that a valuable skill is social media marketing. Well, are we talking about all? Social media? Does that mean you need to master Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and Pinterest and LinkedIn and Twitter? All of them? Not to mention every single platform has its own organic or free strategies as well as paid or online advertising strategies. Plus, every single one of those is going to involve either text-based or image-based or video-based content, which involves content marketing and video marketing and all kinds of other complications. So it appeared my search had to continue. So for this, I decided to go right to the source, LinkedIn in this case. After all, I figured as one of the largest, not only social media players, but also a massive recruitment and hiring pool, well, they might have some pretty good suggestions or ideas for what people were searching for when it came to digital marketing skills and digital marketing qualifications or jobs or anything like that. And LinkedIn did not disappoint, kind of. So there are two areas that I want to highlight and focus on from what I found on LinkedIn, one of which was the fastest growing skills and the other was the top current skills. Let's start with the fastest growing skills because the list here is a little more relevant to the field of digital marketing, but also to where things are going, not just where they've been. So here's what the list looks like. In regards to the fastest growing skills, there was Instagram, content marketing, creative problem solving, brand awareness, branding, Hootsuite, Adobe Premiere Pro, marketing automation, customer experience, 
and Facebook marketing. And again, this is where a trend or a bit of a pattern is starting to emerge because if you take a look at all of the list, well, you'll start to see that there's certain areas that sort of lend themselves more to certain sections of marketing than others. For example, Instagram and Facebook marketing, well, they're not even really skills, they're social media platforms, but there's obviously a need for expertise in those areas. Adobe Premiere Pro is a video editing program, which means that clearly people are looking for people that have experience doing video editing, which is also in the realm of content creation. But here's where things start to get a little bit more interesting because we can take a look at these fast growing skills that people are after and people want and people are showcasing, and we can start to put them into different buckets or different segments of marketing. For example, Instagram and Facebook marketing, well, these aren't even really skills. They're more just social media platforms, but clearly there's a need for them. Also Hootsuite, less of a skill as well and more of a software or a service that allows you to manage different social media platforms. And you can now see that a few of these skills, well, they're dedicated just to social media. Of course, there is no social media marketing without content marketing behind it, designing, well, the words, the audio, the video that's going to go on it. So we can safely put content marketing in there as well. So you can see see here by looking at the fastest growing skills where there's clearly this direction and this trend towards content creation and specifically content on social media and specifically video content on social media. So with that covered, let's take a look at the top current skills now. On this list, we have things like press releases, HTML, web analytics, sales promotion, administrative assistance, digital marketing, Adobe Acrobat, retail sales, Google analytics, and content management systems. Whew. Now, what I found interesting about this list is how much more more broad and generic it was, where there seemed to be this real trend and this real push towards content creation and video content creation and social media marketing for the fastest growing skills, well, this one kind of feels a little bit old. I mean, HTML? Sure, it's valuable to know how to do some basic updates to your website, but do you really need to know how to fully code an HTML website, HTML anything? No, no you don't. And the same thing happened with more of these broad terms like administrative assistance or retail sales. I mean, these aren't necessarily marketing skills or digital marketing skills. Rather, these are some sort of broad generic things that anybody could just slap onto their resume, or slap onto their website, say that they know, and nobody's really gonna be able to question them. Also, as I've already pretty much covered, putting a skill like digital marketing as one of the most valuable skills, that's really, really broad. It's almost like saying business. It's just too big. So with all these skills and strategies and fancy names like content management systems and somewhat vague terms like creative problem solving being tossed around, where do you even start? And what actually is the very best digital marketing skill, the most valuable one that's going to help you to succeed right now for the rest of 2021 and also moving into 2022? So here's my thoughts. First off, the best part about marketing, both as an industry and as an art and a bit of a science is the fact that it is so incredibly broad and diverse, there really is something here for everyone. So the very first thing that you need to do is you need to decide what you're good at and what you like, what you enjoy. I mean, are you good with numbers and spreadsheets and math? Because if so, there is an incredible opportunity here for you in the digital marketing world to do data analytics and metrics and tracking and organization, not only to go through and organize the data, but also to extract valuable insights to help guide consumer decisions and company directions and all of the strategic marketing objectives. Or are you more of the creative type? And if so, well, what kind of creative? Graphic design creative, video creative, creative writing creative, or maybe you're a huge people person. You just love people. In which case there's a huge field for you around optimizing the customer experience or even doing something like account management, which is managing accounts. And accounts are made up of people. Or maybe you're a bit of everything. You're creative, you're analytical, you're good with people. In which case, just follow your curiosity and start learning about the areas that you find most enjoyable, and most interesting. Because the reality is the only digital marketing skill that you want to avoid and that you don't want to waste your time, your energy, and your money on is something that you just don't like. Anybody that tells you that to succeed in digital marketing, you have to be amazing with numbers and have incredible digital marketing analytics skills, they don't know what they're talking about. Same thing goes if anybody says that to succeed in marketing, you need to be incredibly creative and outgoing and extra and have all these amazing ideas. It's also not true because the industry really is big enough for you to find your happy place, the, the place
place that you thrive, the place that you can succeed, the place where you actually get to do work that you love. Most importantly of all though, be very careful when you're looking at websites like this. Because here they list out a ton of skills that they claim you need to have if you wanna be a digital marketer. From SEO and SEM to data analysis, social media, pay-per-click and social media advertising. Also email marketing, storytelling, design skills, creative problem solving, sales and persuasion, project leadership, and the list goes on. And that, my friend, is crazy. Nobody has all of those skills when they're first getting started in digital marketing. Nobody. Almost every single thing on that list you learn by doing digital marketing. And not to mention, it's so broad and so diverse that not everyone is gonna be great at all of those things. And the last thing you want is to be eh, kind of average at a whole bunch of random stuff when you could really just double down on your strengths and on the areas that you find most interesting. So in order to help you really succeed with digital marketing, I put together a video right here that's going to give you some of my absolute best tips. So make sure to check it out now and I'll see you in the video. All right, the next thing that'll really help you become a better digital marketer is to understand the differences between strategy and tactics and when to use them. Strategy is all...